So, if bread is square, how come sandwich meat is round? It's not like it's round when, they, when it comes out of the animal. Okay, so check this out. Last week, uh, I did a video at, uh, at the request of a viewer regarding digital distortion, uh, specifically as it uh, is based around the Line 6 Crunch Tone out of their old uh, Tone Core series. You know, while, you know, while the video itself seemed to be fairly well received, uh, you know, the, the, the thing is, number one, I don't really care for that pedal. I know I own it, but it's not my favorite. Uh, and number two, I'm not sure that it really, you know, for me anyway, it didn't quite seem to tell the whole story because it's, uh, yeah, partially because it's, you know, it's, it's an older, uh, you know, now pretty much a 20 year old, uh, modeling pedal. Yeah. You know, it's not current and it's, you know, it just, it just, it just, it just didn't quite do it for me. So I wanted to explore that a little bit more. Hence the title of this video, Analog versus Digital Distortion Part 2. I reached out to my buddy Aaron at Boss and uh, asked him which of their current drive pedals are uh, digital, digital circuits. And you know he, uh, you know, because honestly, you think as big of a Boss fanatic as I am, I would know, but I don't. <laughs> uh, and he told me the X series pedals, like the DS1X, the OD1X, a couple of others, uh, you know, that I also don't, own, don't happen to own, uh, but also in that group is the ST2 Power Stack. Uh, this is a digital circuit from boss and uh this is one obviously is one that i do happen to own i bought uh, uh yeah, actually my my uh my wife gave me this pedal as a birthday gift uh the first year that we were dating so which was 12 years ago now uh so we were uh, you know i've had this you know and that was right when it came out uh in short this is basically boss's marshall stack in a box pedal hence the name uh and that's kind of what it's designed to simulate and i've always really liked the sound of this pedal so Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this as our control digital distortion. Uh, and then we're going to run some uh, different uh, twisty knobby scenarios here and put it up against some, uh, some analog uh, circuits that, uh, that at least might be similar, you know, and go from there. So first up, we are going to put it up against my favorite Marshall uh, in a box, compact pedal anyway which is the Golden Plexi from Tone City. I love the sound of that pedal. You know, it's not, you know, this is not a comparison sound. You know, this is a comparison in the quality of the distortion from one to the other uh, that we are doing with all of these experiments here today. So let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, I want to throw in another variable here. We're going to add in the uh, old standby Boss DS1 distortion. This is just a run of the mill DS1 pedal. I uh, think, you know, made in Taiwan, this isn't a vintage one or anything. Uh, just a good old fashioned run of the mill Boss DS1 distortion. This isn't necessarily a Marshall in a box type of uh, type of distortion or Marshall in a box pedal, but, you know, I think it kind of leans toward, leans in that direction of, you know, a style of, of distortion anyway. You know, definitely. Definitely a rock distortion. The guy seems been around for what four decades now, or something stupid. You know, the idea being when it first came out that it was it would be a replacement for a cranked up, you know, Marshall or something like that. So, so let's compare the analog circuit of the DS1 to the digital circuit of the ST2, uh, as well as the analog circuit of the Golden Plexi. <laughs>
Okay, next we're going to compare the same three pedals, except this time we are going to eliminate the preamp section of the amplifier and run them straight into the return port of the effects loop. Uh, so now all three of these pedals are going to be acting as the preamps themselves rather than distortion pedals going into a clean channel. So distortion pedals into the effects loop straight into the power amp section. And last but not least, we are uh, going to switch gears here a little bit and compare a couple of different modes on the OD200. Uh, the Boss OD200 is, you know, they call it, it's called the hybrid drive for a reason. And that reason being that some of the circuits, you know, and some of the modes are digital circuits and some of them are analog. The, you know, the X, all the, uh, the X modes you know, like the, the X drive and the X distortion, you know, in, you know, I think there's an X metal, uh, on there, which is like, you know, kind of like their, you know, a, a version of the metal zone. Uh, those are all digital circuits, you know, and, uh, also there's, you know, the, the regular distortion of course is an analog circuit. Uh, so we're going to try everything, uh, at unity straight up in the air with all the control you know, everything, all the knobs at, at 12 o'clock basically, and uh, switch back and forth between a couple of modes and uh you know then dial in a sound on the digital uh the x distortion on the digital circuit and then take those same settings carry them over to another mode and, and again just kind of compare quality of sound this is kind of similar to what we were doing with the tone core pedal however the, like I said, the tone core, tech, the, the technology in the tone core is 20 years old now. You know, the OD200 just came out a couple of years ago and uh, is still very, very much current. And uh, I think they, I think Boss uses, I, uh, I can't remember which engine they use. I think it's either the GT100 or the GT1000 uh, effects engines in the OD200. So let's check out the differences here.
Okay. So there's my next comparison of analog versus digital distortion. Uh, I have one more video planned uh, on this experiment. However, I, there is one pedal that I, I need to acquire in order to, uh, to do that video. And right now I can't find one. Uh, so at least not for, not for a price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> so stay tuned for that video coming here down the road. As far as as uh, my conclusions regarding this experiment and the uh, in the in the crunch tone uh, experiment from the last video, you know, honestly, my take on it is digital or analog. I who honestly, who gives a shit? I couldn't care less which type of circuit a, that a particular distortion or overdrive pedal uses. I couldn't care less. The only thing I am concerned with is does it sound good. Do I like the sound of it? Yes or no? You know, if my answer to that question is yes, I'm not going to change my mind based on the on the type of circuit that it has on inside of it, inside of a pedal that I likely am never going to take apart myself for any reason ever. So comment, like, subscribe, all all that stuff. You know, do the do the do the YouTube thing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>